Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to learn about JavaScript tagged template literals, the magic of this particular feature. I'm sure some of you have already used this, uh, but most of you probably don't know how they work internally and some of the cool use cases that this bring. Once in a while, you come across JavaScript syntax that looks strange in nature. This is one of those syntax that looks very strange. So let's just deep dive into the concept and its usage and welcome to Texty Tutorials. Before we understand what tag template literals are, we need to understand template strings. And I'm sure most of you already used template strings. Uh, they're nothing but string with uh, variable interpolated and you can use backticks to do that. So this uh, string would render something like this. Hi, my name is Texit and I'm 35. Uh, pretty simple, right? But then there are use cases where I want a function where the argument would be a template string, something like this. Uh, there are two kinds of content here. There is a static content, which is like my name is and I am. And then there are three tags. So I would call this dynamic content tags. And what I want to do is I want to extract them and then I want some way to transform it. And then once I transform it, I want to create a brand new string with, which doesn't read this. It reads something else. Let's say I want to change the, the name of the text to something else. And I want to change the age to something else. And I want to maybe transform, say something in Spanish. Uh, the easiest way to do it is provide something like this and transform it. For that, I have to segregate dynamic and static content. So that's where the tech template uh, literal comes in picture. So let's manually do that first and then see how it works. Okay, so we created a function called transform and it takes two arguments. One is static and one is tags. Uh, they're both nothing but arrays. And in order to call this function, and typically when you call a function, you would put a parenthesis next to it and you pass arguments, right? Uh, but uh, if I want to use tag template literal, all I have to do is take the function and then put the template string next to it. And what it does, it automatically assumes that, okay, I need to con I need to extract this too automatically. And so inside this function, what I would get is extracted content. So two arrays uh, with one with static and one with all the dynamic content. So let's run this. And as you can see, uh, the first one, all the stat static content, uh, I have actually four elements, one, two, three, and four. Uh, you must be wondering, um, I have only two static content, right? This and this, and why am I getting four? It's because uh, the way it works is uh, it would create a placeholder for anything that is dynamic. Uh, and if you put those dynamic content at the end, the beginning and the end, then it would create this empty string as elements. Uh, so the way it would work is uh, I would get all the dynamic, and I would, I would get all the static, right? And if I wanna put back the string together, all I have to do is uh, take the dynamic content and insert where the, where the comma is. So uh, I would get hi, my name is, then text it, and I am, and then 35. And so this is how it works. Uh, two separate arrays, I can transform them. I can do whatever I want, and I can put, put them together, and I can give you completely new string. And that's how the magic of uh, tech template works. So let's do that. So uh, what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna convert uh, this text it uh, to my actual name. Uh, so let's do that. So first I need to find out index where this uh, is located. Index equal to, uh, I can take all the tags and then I can find index uh, each element of that array tech sit. And this should, this should give me element, which is, I guess, uh, one, right? Because zero, one. I can replace it. So I can say tags and that index equal to, let's say my real name. And then if I console log tags now, and then I would see the replaced value, right? Uh, before it was text now it's this. So now I can put back the array together. And for that, uh, I can just simply write a for loop. And I can just uh, do string plus equal to. And I can take uh, all the tags first plus the static. 
So I can put them together and then I can console log the string. Uh, I think I forgot. I have to define the string. It has to be first static content. So I can they take static zero. And as you can see, it gives me a completely transformed uh, string. It says my name is Hamil and I'm 35. So now you know the concept. Basically, it takes a template string as an argument. It extracts all the statics and dynamic values and it lets you transform them and you can put them together, right? Uh, and any application that you use uh, this tech templates, they have already built in transform function. So you don't have to really build it. Obviously, if you want to build yourself, uh, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, but you'll f you'll find most of the application they have built in transform function. Now that you know what tech template literals are, let's look at its cool use cases. And it does have many cool use cases. And one of this is in Jest. I'm sure you've used Jest to test your JavaScript and React. So let's look at how it works. All right, so I've created a simple function called add, and I wanna test this function. I wanna pass uh, different kind of values, positive, negative, um, nothing. And I wanna make sure that it works as expected. Uh, one way to do it is write a bunch of tests. One where I can pass four and five and make sure that it, the, the expected result is nine. I can pass minus 10 and 10 and expected result is zero and I can pass nothing and the expected result will be NAN. Uh, but this is quite cumbersome. If there was a simple way where I can pass uh, the two values and the result and it would test automatically all of these values, uh, it would be nice. So test has uh, this function called each and which take three arguments. Uh, it has this tag template and it takes name, function and timeout. So the tech template is nothing but a table. So you would call it like this, and which is the template string, where you would pass uh, three things here, because uh, I want to pass the, the first uh, row would be just the label, x, y, and what's, what is expected. And then the rest of the rows are the nothing but the value, right? So if I pass four and a five, the expected result would be nine, and so and so forth, right? And it's followed by the name of the uh, the test, right, and uh, a callback function that checks each value. So let's run this test. So if I do npm test, as you can see, it runs uh, all the tests and it gives me the answer as expected. The next use case for tech template literal is converting CSS to JSX. Um, those who have used style components in React, uh, they already know this. Uh, let's say if I want to decorate a button uh, with a bunch of styles, right? Um, and I have a, I can create a variable in JavaScript uh, called blue. The way it works is style component. This is an external library and you'll get for each element, uh, for example, button, uh, it will have that transform function. So you don't have to worry about uh, building this. Uh, they're already available for every single element in HTML. And so what you do is you just pass this uh, template string. This transforms uh, this button into a colored button. You can use this color button and it would have the background color to be blue. Uh, if I pass this prop called clickable, then it would add pointer. Otherwise, it would add uh, internally, a uh, style component creates a unique class for every element and attaches to uh, the style to the class. And the uniqueness of the class makes the st uh, style uh, local, so it doesn't interfere with other styles. And this also makes the CSS dynamic uh, and you can control via JavaScript, so it also make it, makes it reusable. The next use case for tech template literal is localization. And this is actually makes much more sense for tech template literals. So let's look at a quick example. So let's say if I have a string like this, uh, you owe me some money, right? And this amount is 10.30. You wanna convert this into a Spanish. This IETN uh, will let you do that. And when it converts into Spanish, it would uh, print something like this. Uh, but if you, if you convert into French, then it would add this comma based on uh, the local currency, the way it displays. Uh, so there are actually uh, libraries, IATN libraries uh, for interna internationalization, uh, which lets you do that. Uh, and the last use case for tech template literal is uh, also in GraphQL. Uh, GraphQL has something called GraphQL tag, and you can use tech template literal there as well. I'm not too familiar with it, but I just found this example. So 
um, to let you know. And I'm sure there are tons of other use cases that I haven't covered, but it's getting more and more popular and it's pretty useful. And that's all, uh, and that's all folks. I hope you learned something new from this video. And if you did, please like, subscribe and provide a nice comment. If you don't like it, then I'll be, I'll feel really sad. Uh, just kidding. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter. Uh, I have a handle called Texit1. You can also check out my Medium article. I've started writing more and more. And you can check out my courses as well. I have two courses on Udemy, one on JavaScript and one on React. And thank you for watching.